Tonight, one key election official is sounding an alarm about expanding vote by mail. Expanding vote at home is not a simple thing. It may sound simple, it may seem simple to the voter, but it is not so simple if you're administering the election, correct? That is absolutely correct. It's a disservice to our voters to just throw it out. Oh yeah, we can just flip a switch and, and everybody can vote by mail. Washington Secretary of State Kim Wyman is in a unique position to know. A Republican from a very blue state in charge of running elections for one of only five all vote by mail states in the country. Washington's 18-day voting period is run entirely by ballots mailed to every registered voter and has been for the past nine years. Now the woman who runs it is getting calls for advice from other states. She says they'll need systems to ensure ballots are not fraudulent and new equipment to count hand mark paper ballots and fast. They need to be able to deal with the, the production they're going to have to put on and we need Congress's help to do that. So far, additional help does not look to be forthcoming and the clock is ticking. NBC News has reached out to election officials in all 50 states to see what measures they've put in place and what kind of resources they require. 33 states offer no excuse needed absentee ballots, while 17 others offer them with an excuse. At least 10 of those states, however, are expanding absentee voting due to the coronavirus. Michigan election officials tell us they need another $30 million for PPE, postage, mailings, and public education. Minnesota officials say they need 30,000 poll workers for what they expect to be a tidal wave of absentee ballot applications and actual ballots. And as much as she believes in voting exclusively by mail, Wyman tells us it may not be the best option for states with little experience with it. Four months is not enough time to, to spin up what we need to spin up. Um, so I think you're going to see a hybrid model across the country. States like Missouri and Illinois, for instance, tell us they do not want to decrease in-person voting locations if they can avoid it. But experts say making polling places safe and lines short will be a challenge. And we need the resources to do it right. From your perspective, we're already behind. We were behind three months ago when we started having this conversation. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News.